In this mini lecture, I will be speaking about weeding and deselection as part of the collection management process. Weeding is a process of removing materials from the shelves and reassessing their value to the collection. Not all items on the library shelves are of equal value to the collection. Some material might be out of date. Material also physically deteriorates as it circulates. Sometimes new additions or better material might be available. Sometimes the client needs or institutional priorities will shift, and sometimes we simply have run out of space. Cost and limitations of storage mean that we cannot keep every resource on the shelf forever. Weeding allows us to refine the collection and include only those resources that are most relevant. How do we identify items for weeding? There are a number of questions you can ask yourself when you're considering whether a particular collection item should be weeded. First of all, think about whether it's being used. Use on its own shouldn't be a criteria for removing something from the collection because sometimes we need to keep those items in there to represent a balanced viewpoint, whether or not the item is being used. Consider also whether an item is worn. Is it outdated? Is the material duplicated or perhaps available on online? Is the item rare or valuable? In these cases, you wouldn't necessarily discard it. Has the item been superseded by a later edition? And if so, does the earlier edition become incorrect or inaccurate? Is the resource a standard or is it a classic work? If this is the case and it meets other criteria for weeding, then you might purchase a new copy. Does the material have local relevance? In these cases, you may not choose to weed the item or you may choose to place it with another more appropriate collecting body. Can the item be replaced by interlibrary loans if and when it's required? These questions can assist you in ascertaining whether an item should be kept in the collection, should be handled somewhere else or should be discarded. There are many sets of simple guidelines available for use in determining whether items should be removed from collections. The MUSTI guidelines are commonly used in practice today. MUSTI stands for misleading, ugly, superseded, trivial, irrelevant, or elsewhere. You can read more about the MUSTI guidelines in CRU, a weeding manual for modern libraries developed by the Texas State Library. The MUSTI guidelines are a useful and practical framework that allow us to consider the role of items in the collection and whether or not they should be retained. How patrons don't use the collection can tell you what they don't want and what they do. The process of weeding allows us to find out a lot about how our collection is used. Those items that don't get used by patrons can tell us a lot. Those items that get overused can also tell us lots of things. When we're talking at taking an item out of the collection, it's important to consider why we're weeding it. Did the item fail in its purpose? Did it not get used? If this is the case, then we need to think about why the item failed. Was it the author, the publisher, the format, the quality of the resource or the subject? Perhaps it was the level of the resource. Thinking about the reasons that an item failed in its role in the collection can help us refine our collecting practices in the future. Weeding can be a difficult part of collection management. There are a range of reasons why in a busy schedule weeding may be neglected. Some of you might have experienced some of the following thoughts when considering weeding. What? Throw away a book? Mm, it might be needed sometime in the future. This is a good book. I read it when I was a kid. It's also sometimes difficult to admit when we've made selection mistakes, particularly if we were heavily invested in the collection development process. However, weeding is an important part of collection management. Weeding helps you learn your collection. It can be fitted in flexibly around other jobs. You don't need to spend the whole day weeding. It improves the appearance of the library as there will be more room on the shelves and it creates a more appealing, up-to-date and modern looking collection. Once you have weeded, 
Make sure you finish the job properly. Be discreet when you're disposing of resources. Even though you understand why they're being removed from the collection, seeing a whole bin full of what may appear at first glance to be perfectly good books and resources is not necessarily a good look. Obliterate any school markings. Items tend to find their way home and when you've gotten rid of something once, you don't want to have to deal with it again. Delete the records and copies from the library catalogue so that they aren't dead records which mislead and discourage users. And remember, if it isn't good enough for your library, it isn't good enough for the classroom or for another school. This is a particularly important social justice issue. While some items you've removed may perhaps be considered for donation, giving outdated, worn or otherwise unwanted materials to charities and similar groups may feel good but may not necessarily be helping the students who eventually receive the items. If it isn't good enough for your students, why should we expect others to use it? Finally, think about the process of weeding. Why not host a garden party and have everyone involved in the weeding process? Provide snacks, decorate the library, invite teachers or staff to weed a small section. Give them advice on what to look for, give them sticky notes to attach to books they feel undecided about, and let them go for it. Place all the weirded titles on a table so that everyone can have a last look and bid farewell. Give teachers the option, with permission from the principal, to keep the books they love but which are no longer needed. By involving the community, you encourage ownership of the library among the school staff, show respect for their expertise, and give them the opportunity to discover, while they're weeding, some of the other amazing newer items that you have that they may not have seen. If this isn't possible, perhaps thinking about weed, think about weeding in secret.